Now, there's been a surge in the number of online fitness routines aimed towards people exercising in their own homes. Now, it may seem safe and easy, but there are a few pitfalls to be aware of. Here to help prevent any injuries, personal trainer Lorraine Scapins. Good morning. Hi, Mel. Lovely to have you back in the Thank studio. You. Now, first up, why the sudden rise in the number of, uh, of these internet exercise experts? I think people are just saying it's a very easy and quick way to make money online. You know, um, several years ago when I started my business, people were just starting to feel, they were still very cautious about using credit cards online. We weren't as quick as what we are today. Mm. People are very, very quick. It's not just credit cards. There's other sorts of ways that you can pay for all this online programs, which is what people are now capitalizing on. Um, and a lot of the non-fitness experts are starting to put out lots of online programs for us to buy. Right, so the non-experts, as you mentioned, are yep. putting out the programs. Okay, so what are the risks? Well, first and foremost, there's risks to yourself. You know, you would never ever, or I wouldn't personally, go to the gym and pay for somebody who is not qualified to take you through an exercise program. Um, so why do it? online but the other risk is, as well is because we're now used to paying for things online we can quite easily get um, sucked into buying lots of extra stuff which we don't need and people really need to be aware of on that also online and when you go to a gym you read through contracts or you're told about your contracts yeah. and this tends to be what's not happening also online so people don't really understand that oh that $10 is actually $10 a week or $10 yeah. a month, and then they don't realize when they can stop it. So there is a lot of risks and pitfalls. Well, it, yeah. which Let's be honest, well, none of us read the fine print, do no, we? No, we don't. Few of us do. yeah. We should no. do, we don't. So how do you know that you're following good advice? I think there's three things what I think people should look for or be aware of when they're looking at online programs. The first one, who is actually selling it to you? A lot of people are affiliates or your stars they perhaps have never done that exercise program before but they're on selling it for somebody else because they're the ones who are making money so you've got to be careful of that person is that person actually done the exercise mm. program that you're using second one is is that person that you're going to buy the program off are are they qualified go in and have a look at the website go and read about them are they qualified to give you this information and then i'm so that the, the, the two main points really. And then the other one is if you've been referred to this website. Generally, if you've been referred to the website, there's testimonials on mm. there. You can tr feel safe that you're gonna be exercising with somebody who knows what they're talking about. So the testimonials are gonna be valid that they won't be made up? Well, see, that, that is something else as well, which we do have to be careful about. Really, people, if you're buying online, take your time, go and look, go and see through the social media. You know, you should be able to pick up whether they're trustworthy Google or them. not. You'll find out pretty Absolutely. quickly. Absolutely. Have a look if they're commenting on other people's posts. Um, is that person um, adequately qualified to be given that information as well? If they're not, do they refer to experts from that too? Okay. Is it better though to be outside anyway, rather than in front of the TV or in front of the laptop doing something? I think a little both, bit of both is actually quite good. And um, the reason why online programs are becoming so popular is pe because people just can't get to the gym anymore. Mm. It's it's really busy. You know, um, a lot of car parks are full. I know when I used to work at the gym, I used to have clients who would drive around for 20 minutes looking for a car, pa car park and go, oh, you know, I'm over this, I can't do it. So that's why the online programs are also doing so well is because they're easy. You can put them on when you've got the time and ready to. But I think it's good to do some online and some outside, get outside as, well. as well. So what Always is the right the way both. then to use those online fitness programs? You can use them by themselves if that's all what you want to do or you want to save on gym membership because they can be um, really good in t terms of um, price, etc. So they can save you money. But also, they can also be very good to work alongside your personal training program, any gym program, because it adds variety. Mm. Yeah. And variety is the spice of life. It is, uh, yes. Say. Yeah. And anything that gets you exercising really is a good thing, but just do your research and make sure that whatever you're buying is 
by That's a people right. person who knows their stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, fantastic. Yeah. Always good to have you in for some Thank great you, advice. Mel. Thank you. And if you'd like to check out online fitness videos that you can trust, go to Lorraine's website, pregnancyexercise.co.nz.